Hi, my name is Sarah Sheik. I'm a swine extension educator with the University of Minnesota Extension. In this video segment, I'm going to go over some biosecurity tips when raising pigs in hoop structures and other open areas. I am currently standing at our hoop structure area at the University of Minnesota's West Central Research and Outreach Center. As you can tell, even though it is an open environment, we can still implement biosecurity. One of the ways that we can implement biosecurity in this open area is by having a fence line, which is considered our line of separation. This fence separates the rest of the farm from the hoop structure area. When employees and visitors cross in to the hoop structure area, it is important for them to have on clean footwear and coveralls if they're going to be working with the pigs. Now, if we have visitors that are just here to tour the area, disposable booties are just fine. When leaving the hoop area, then it is important to clean off footwear and remove the coveralls so they can be washed for the next use. If plastic booties are worn, they should be removed and then thrown away in the trash out here. Let's talk about disinfecting our boots for later use. It's important first to remove all organic matter, which would include manure and any bedding. Once all organic matter has been removed from the boot, now we can disinfect them. Some disinfectants that have been proven successful against PERS, which stands for our porcine reproductive and respiratory syndrome virus, and PED, which stands for our porcine epidemic diarrhea virus, are Synergize, Vercon S, Tectrol, One Stroke Environ, and Clorox. Whenever using disinfectants, it is always important to use them according to label directions. Just like other swine facilities here at the West Central Research and Outreach Center, our hoop structures also follow the all-in, all-out management practice. In between groups, all bedding is removed down to the clay pad at the bottom of the hoop barn structures. Egg lime is applied if needed to kill any pathogens. The hoops sit pig free for a while until nursery pigs are ready to come into the, the grow finish hoop area and new bedding is applied at that time. In addition to having a visitor policy and following an all in all out management practice, the control of wildlife, birds and other pests is important as they can be things that can introduce disease into your swine herd. Some of the ways that you can minimize the threat of pests is to keep your feed covered, clean up any feed spills as they occur, keep the area free of any weeds and debris, making the area less desirable for pests, use rodent bait stations, when utilizing the rodent bait stations, it's important to keep them away from any pigs and also to maintain them regularly. And lastly, it's important to dispose of any mortalities in a timely manner. All of these are tips that you can apply to your swine hoop structures and other open areas. Remember, biosecurity is your responsibility to decrease the risk of disease entry into your swine herd from animals, people, equipment, and vehicles. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for other swine biosecurity related videos. Thank you for listening.